What is going on beautiful people? I hope you're having a beautiful day because I am having a beautiful day. So in today's video, I want to take you guys through top five bicep exercises, right? Reason being is, you know, who doesn't want to grow their biceps? So before we get into that, what I wanted to do is take you guys through a few mistakes that I most commonly see being made within the gym so you guys can avoid that. So mistake number one is going to be not going down to the lower rep ranges, right? I see this a lot, okay? You'll see a lot of the times when people train biceps, you know, it's a small muscle. Why would I lift heavy? Why would I go heavy on this? And as such, they stick to the 10, 12, 15 rep ranges, just trying to find that pump and never really make that much of an improvement within their biceps. So what I want to encourage you guys to do is go to those lower rep ranges, those six to eight rep ranges where you're using a lot of force within the bicep to get that weight up, right? The bicep, just like another muscle, will respond to those six to eight reps the same way that a quad or a glute or your chest would. So please keep that in mind when training your biceps. Mistake number two is going to be improper form, right? Improper form. And that usually comes in the form of swinging too much or you know, doing something completely different. That one absolutely gets me right. They're using pretty much everything but their biceps. So what you need to do is ensure that you're not swinging too much and you're actually using your bicep power. All right, so something that I want you guys to keep in mind when I explain the top five exercises is the function of the bicep, right? So the bicep is a multi-joint muscle, okay? So it works across three joints, that being the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. However, the two primary functions of the bicep is to supinate the wrist, as well as to flex the elbow. Now, it also plays a little bit in with shoulder flexion, as in coming forward. So when you do a front raise, your bicep is a little bit uh, engaged. However, the main things is supination of the wrist, as well as elbow flexion. So please keep those in mind when you're training, all right? So if you're not actually doing those two things, you won't be getting any engagement within your bicep. Pow, all right. So now that we've covered all that, I want to go through the top five bicep exercises, first of which is going to be the alternating dumbbell curls, all right, while standing up. Now, the reason this is my numero uno is because of the isolation it allows, right? You're doing one at a time, so you can focus purely on one bicep and you won't really make any imbalances within training. It eliminates that completely. The way I like to do this, I like to do this at a pretty low rep range, around six to eight, and I like to take it extremely, extremely slow, getting a very big stretch and a very big squeeze. Something you need to understand, right? As I said before, it's about elbow flexion, right? So when it's here, you wanna bring it up and flex the elbow. Yes, you don't wanna be doing this because that's going to offer less elbow flexion. So come here, flex the elbow. Hold one second, drop for two seconds. So another thing is that goes hand in hand with lifting heavy weight, right? We can do six to eight reps, but because we're going at a slow tempo, it's very, very effective. Pow, number two is going to be the barbell curl, which is the absolute king daddy of strength exercises when it comes to the biceps, yes? Because you can pack on a much greater weight considering using two, as well as a barbell, you can lift a little bit more weight there. Now the barbell curl is absolutely terrific at growing the biceps as long as you do it the right way. In such, you don't wanna be swinging too much and you wanna keep in mind the elbow flexion. You need to be creating that flexion to get that contraction within your bicep. So another thing to keep in mind is supersets or even drop sets, yes. Biceps, I feel that drop sets are a very, very crucial part of growing your biceps. The reason being is you get the best of both worlds, right? So if you do the first set with a heavy weight of six to eight reps and then you drop it in half and then rep that up to failure, you're getting the strength and hypertrophy from the heavy load and then you're also getting that pump work to help that muscle expand and grow. Pow, number three, preacher curls. Yes, preacher curls, everyone does this. We understand that it helps keep the shoulder in place, which means we're only moving at the elbow. It is a terrific exercise. You can do it with uh, the barbell, or if you have a machine, I would recommend you doing it with machine. I actually don't have one at my gym accessible, so I do it with the barbell. But the machine, the idea with the cables using the machine is it offers a greater constant tension, right? So when you are here with a dumbbell, or a barbell, the tension kind of dissipates, right? But with a cable, it's always pulling you back. So it's much more effective to use the cable machine. <laughs> Number four is the incline dumbbell curl. Now, with the preacher, it's offering a little bit different. However, the incline is more of the opposite of the preacher curl. As you can imagine, with the preacher curl, you're out like this and you're curling like this. However, on an incline curl, you're back like this 
and curling up. So you're using a lot more of the bottom of the bicep, whereas here, you're using a lot of the peak. So we're using dumbbells for this one, and what you really wanna think about is the supination of your wrist, which is really gonna activate a lot of the bicep and get that peak going. What you wanna do is set up the incline bench on about a 45 degree angle, then lay down, and then you just wanna let your arms hang, completely dead, let them hang. And then from there, all you need to do is flex at the elbow, and extend at the elbow and you'll be contracting the bicep very well. Pow, all right, last but not least guys, number five is the high cable fly. So basically this is a great one for that peak. Now what you wanna think about is while you're actually curling is pushing through your pinky. So you want to be curling like this almost, like you're trying to twist your pinky in. You just wanna keep it pressurized via the pinky. Now I like to end on this one typically. So I'll end with about three sets, three to four sets of about 10 to 15 reps with this one, uh, resting quite short. Now, it is a great exercise for actually getting that extra stretch on the bicep. As I said before, another function of the bicep is shoulder flexion. So the idea is when you're like this, you're getting a much greater stretch in where the bicep inserts into the shoulder. All right, guys, that is top five bicep exercises. Now, there is an absolute plethora of bicep variations that you can incorporate within your routine, but if I had to narrow it down to the five, the five that I've listed within this video are gonna be those. So guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite bicep exercise is. And if you did enjoy this video, do give it a like, and I'm just gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed watching, because I enjoyed making it. I'll catch you in the next one later.